Injuries are a part of any major sport. It's something that many athletes try and avoid because they know it can hurt them both short-term and long-term. But for some, they are an inevitable part of the game, which is what many are finding out right now with Zion Williamson. The next big thing in the NBA has honestly been anything but, due to how he's been injured for much of his career, and now the trade rumors are aflowing. So allow us to ask, should the Pelicans trade Zion Williamson? Number 5. State of Zion Williamson Williamson's future with the Pelicans franchise has long been a question mark, and rumors have swirled that he could soon demand a trade out of New Orleans. McCollum's addition gives the Pelicans another star-level player alongside Williamson and Brandon Ingram. I haven't had conversations with him directly, McCollum told TNT during All-Star Weekend. I've spoken with some people close to him, and I look forward to sitting down with him sooner than later. I know about as much as you do right now, but I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I addressed this with Zion in front of the team, Reddick said. There is a responsibility that you have to have as an athlete when you play a team sport to be fully invested. To be fully invested in your body, your work, your teammates. And we have not seen that from Zion. As a teammate, there is a pattern of behavior. This is worrisome. And when something is worrisome, you know that others are going to speak on it. And that's what others have been doing during this season. Number 4. JJ Redick weighs in. Former Pelicans teammate JJ Redick expressed his concern after CJ McCollum, whom we just talked about, said over All Star Weekend that he has yet to hear from Williamson. Also, we just talked about that, so this is a little bit insane to me, Redick, now an analyst for ESPN, said on first take. There's a general decorum of behavior you should apply as a teammate. This just shows a complete lack of investment in your team, your organization, in the city. I get that he's hurt and away from the team but you just traded for one of the 50 best players in the league, a guy who is supposed to be paired with you. Reach out and say hello. That apparently happened sometime after that weekend. McCollum told ESPN that he has heard from Williamson since his initial comments. Williamson has missed the entire season with a foot injury that could soon require a second surgery. Reddick played with Williamson his first two years in the league and said the concerns around the power forward were legitimate. This is a pattern of behavior we are seeing from Zion. I was his teammate. I can describe him as a detached teammate, Reddick said. That is an accurate statement. This is basic level of humanity. Send a text to a guy when he gets traded to your team. Granted, Reddick doesn't speak for everyone, but he is someone who knows Zion and all that he can do and can't do. So if he's worried, that's stating something. And given Zion's health right now, a lot of people are worried. Number 3. Process of Recovery As noted, Zion is healing an injury to his foot, and there's likely a little chance that he returns this season. Pelicans coach Willie Green said late last year that doctors were encouraged by the latest set of scans on Williamson's injured foot. He's cutting, he's doing explosive work, he's running, he's getting closer and closer, Green said. It's just one of those injuries where you want to be really diligent, especially with the foot, of being careful when we put him back on the floor at full go. Green said Williamson would undergo another set of scans in two to three weeks at the time that will determine if he can progress to a five-on-five -five work, the last step before returning to action. I think he has to go through some of that to see where he is, Green said. You have to feel the real grind and bump of playing against competitors. That's the part he hasn't done yet. We just want to continue for him to progress in the right direction without any setbacks, Green said. While it was hoped that he could be back by now, obviously that hasn't happened. In fact, he's regressed recently and potentially set the clock back further for when he comes back. The Pelicans announced Williamson's injury at Media Day in September. Initially, there was some hope he could be back for the start of the regular season before it was announced that he would miss more time. This is the second of Williamson's three seasons in which he has been unavailable for the start of the year. In his rookie season, a torn meniscus delayed his debut by 13 weeks. Without Williamson, the Pelicans have gone well below .500 and they're currently ninth in the West. Not out of the playoffs, but not exactly in a position for a good playoff run given the talent they have and don't have. Pelicans center Jonas Valanciunas said the team is eager for Williamson's return. It's going to be a bit different look for our team, Valanchuna said, but he's a huge piece for us. We need him back. Then we'll see how everything is going to look. 
But even if he does come back, some have questioned whether he'll be in good shape for what's to come. Number 2. Weight Gain Adding to the matter, Bleacher Report's Jake Fisher reported that members of the Pelicans had grown concerned with Williamson's weight, with one source telling Fisher he believed the 6'6 Williamson weighed over 300 pounds. Williamson is listed at 284 pounds. Speaking on an ESPN media call at the time, JJ Reddick said Williamson needs to get in better shape. Zion has to be in better shape, Reddick said. That's not a secret, and he's got to get healthy. Williamson joined Reddick's podcast in March and said he felt he could improve his conditioning, but worried about getting too light. I do think there is another gear that I can reach regarding my weight and conditioning, Williamson said. But I think it's like you said, it's finding it, because I don't want to get to a spot where I'm like, yeah, I lost a lot of weight, but I don't feel strong. I can't do certain things that I would do before. I think it's just finding it. I do think there is another gear I can reach regarding both weight and conditioning. So while it is nice to hear him say that, others are not buying it. During an episode of Inside the NBA last year, the TNT crew discussed footage of Williamson rehabbing on the court prior to the Pelicans' home loss one time, and Charles Barkley didn't have the best of things to say. It looks like me and Shaq had a baby, Barkley said. Barkley added that Williamson is eating good in New Orleans. Barkley stressed that somebody has got to be a grown person down in that relationship in New Orleans and say, you got to get in shape. I'm joking and I'm serious, Barkley said, recalling a moment in his career when Moses Malone, his former 76ers teammate in the 80s, said he was fat and lazy. As a result, he started to cry a little bit, but thought of it as a turning point in his career. He's already had surgery on his legs and now he's got a broken foot, Barkley said about Williamson's past injuries including a torn right meniscus and a right knee injury he suffered while playing at Duke in February of 2019. It's one thing to come back from an injury, but it's another thing to come back from an injury, yet not be in a position to play. The Pelicans need him to play. Number 1. Traded The latest with Zion has only fueled more rumors that he's not going to be a Pelican much longer. Whether they'll trade him or he'll leave once his rookie contract ends, it'd honestly be a shock if he stays on the squad. Of course, then the question is, what team would risk an injury-prone big man? Well, if the price is right, a lot of them would. Because when Zion was on the court, he was dominant, scarily so, and not just in a I'll dunk on you forever kind of way. He was making some deep shots. But you can't make a trade based on the potential of a healthy player, you have to either take the risk or look for something better. Zion's future in the NBA is full of question marks, and that's pretty sad. But whether he gets things going again or is on a new team next year, people are going to be watching. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at Zion Williamson and how he is likely to be traded by the New Orleans Pelicans in the offseason? What teams do you think will honestly take a risk on Williamson given his recurring injuries? If he does get healthy, what do you think he'll be able to do in the league? Let us know in the comments below and we will see you next time on the channel.